Have you ever wondered how our bodies adapt to new circumstances, such as starting a new job or moving to a new climate? It's a fascinating process indeed. Imagine your body as a complex physiological system akin to a well-oiled machine, where every component plays a significant role. Each of our organs and tissues forms a part of this interconnected unit, their activities dependent on each other and the overall function of the body. But the body doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's in a continuous dance with its environment, adapting and reacting to external and internal factors. Whether it's the air we breathe, the food we eat, or the weather we experience, our bodies are constantly adjusting and transforming, striving to maintain a delicate balance. This interdependent unity is what makes us living, breathing, adaptable beings. Remember, the human body is an intricate system that thrives on adaptation and interaction with its environment. What if we told you that the nervous system plays a significant role in maintaining this balance? If you think about it, our bodies are constantly interacting with the world around us. This interaction is not random or chaotic. It's a complex dance choreographed by our nervous system. This system is like the grand conductor of an orchestra, ensuring all parts play in harmony. It establishes a continuous connection between our bodies and the environment, both internal and external. Through complex reflexes between excitation and reactivity, it allows us to adapt and respond appropriately to any changes, whether it's a sudden loud noise or a change in body temperature. Imagine the body as a city and the nervous system as its intricate network of roads and highways, facilitating communication and coordination among all areas. This network is vital for our survival, allowing us to adapt, thrive and maintain balance in our environment. In essence, the nervous system is a master control center, coordinating all bodily functions and responses. Did you know that our bodies are constantly exchanging substances with our environment? This process is essential for our survival, and it primarily occurs through two mechanisms, respiration and nutrition. Let's begin with respiration. It is a vital process where our body gives up carbon dioxide, a waste product of internal combustion, and in return, receives oxygen from the environment. This oxygen is necessary for various bodily functions, and without it, we simply wouldn't survive. However, it's important to note that our environment isn't always clean and pure. Sometimes it contains harmful substances like dust, gases and vapors. When these exceed certain concentrations, they can be harmful to our bodies, affecting us through our respiratory or skin contact. Then there's nutrition. This involves the intake of necessary substances from our environment. These substances include water, minerals, vitamins, proteins, lipids and carbohydrates. Our body processes these substances, providing each organ with what it needs and eliminating what it doesn't need through urine and feces. But it's not just about eating. The quality and quantity of the food we consume are important too. Both malnutrition and overeating can lead to health problems, impacting all our bodily organs. So you see our bodies are not just static entities, but dynamic systems that constantly interact with and adapt to their environment. Finally, Let's not forget about the human factor in physiology. When we talk about the human factor, we're talking about the way human behavior is represented in the external environment. It's about more than just the physical, it's about the physiological and psychological aspects of an individual and how these aspects influence and are influenced by the world around us. Think about it. Every interaction we have Every piece of equipment we use, every environment we step into, they all have an impact on us. And we, in turn, impact them. This is the human factor. Our bodies are not isolated entities. They're part of a larger system that includes other people, the tools we use, and the environments we inhabit. The human factor recognizes this interconnectedness and explores how it affects our physiology. Consider the physiological changes that occur when we're in a group setting. The energy, the dynamics, the interactions, they all have an impact on our heart rate, our stress levels, even our digestion. That's the human factor in action. And it's not just about the physical. The human factor also encompasses the psychological. Our thoughts, our emotions, our mental states, they too have a profound impact on our physiology. So let's not overlook the human factor. Remember, the human factor is a key component of physiology, 
highlighting the interconnectedness of our bodies, our minds, and our environment.